So a banner of Half-Life 3 was shown at Gamescom 2016. Now before everyone gets their hopes up, I'm I'm gonna bring a rainy cloud to this sunny day. Oh man, Half-Life 3's finally coming out. The masterpiece, they say. Well, no. No, not at all, in fact. Uh, there was a poster shown, and it literally says Half-Life 3, and then has some German writing. Well, this is some world-class trolling as this article does say, because the banner is used to promote the properties of this company, this media company, uh, including uh, Spiel Tips and Giga, in all caps. Um, the Half-Life 3 editors who played it back then is what the banner translates to, which would be the editors who played it in 1998. Now, before you click off this video and say, oh, fucking goddamn it, there's no Half-Life 3, just chill out for a second. I'll give you a little bit of an explanation as to why Half-Life 3 has yet to not even come out. First, I would like to address the point that Valve d lets their employees work on anything under the sun, any project they feel like. It's one of the only companies that does that. And as such, I think there's only like five to six people working on Team Fortress 2. So that just goes to show you, depending on what the teams feel like working on, is what they work on. So if there's no one that wants to work on Half-Life 3, well, you got one guy in the back office with a dim light working on Half-Life 3 for the last 10 years. And that's just how it goes. Then the second thing is that uh, Gabe has come out and he's completely avoids the subject at all. He used to talk about it a very long time ago, but he doesn't even discuss it at all anymore. So to say that Half-Life 3 is going to be coming out, I doubt it very much. And I think it's a good thing at the same time as a bad thing because you have Half-Life 2, which is arguably a masterpiece. Arguably. I don't personally like the game. I'll get into that in a minute. But it's arguably a masterpiece and everyone wants Half-Life 3. Well, how do you fulfill such hype, such expectations? As soon as it was announced, as soon as it would be announced, Half-Life 3 was coming out, it'd be over, dude. The hype train, the hype engine, it'd completely destroy it. The hype train has destroyed many games in the past. Destiny has been destroyed by hype, even though it didn't deliver on half the shit it was supposed to. Uh, no Man's Sky has been trashed by the hype train. Uh, there's a lot of games that suffer from the hype train and failing to deliver or failing to deliver a stunning experience or to surpass their predecessor. And that stuff happened. And I think that's a big case on why Half-Life 3 hasn't come out. So when you see posters like this, that's all there is to say. As for me not liking the game, I just think it's a very aged game. And I think if you go back and play Half-Life 2 with no mods, no remastering, nothing, you play it originally as it was released, I think you'll see that it's, it's quite an aged game. Yes, it has physics. Yes, it has puzzle solving aspects. And yes, it has an interesting gripping story. But at the same time, there's a thousand other games that also have that. So for me personally, it's just not the masterpiece experience. It's not anything amazing. I, I personally think it's an all right game, but other people see amazing things in it and I can understand that. So good for them. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you have yourselves a good day. Uh, don't get tricked by Half-Life 3 announcements. Again, I seriously doubt there'll ever be a Half-Life 3. So unless it's being reported by every single media outlet, odds are it's not real. You guys have yourselves a great day and as always, good gaming and God bless. <laughs>